My name is John Horn. I'm in partnership here with my wife, Carmel, and son, Shane. We're living here in a South Tipperary, a small village called Drangan. We're at the foot of Sleafnamon. We're presently milking 200 cows and three A4 robots with a milking platform of 240 acres. In the mid 90s, we purchased this farm and I came from a milking background and in zero zero, we decided to get into cows. So I went looking at robots. I visited a good few farms. Where I got most of my information from was actually on the trip to Holland with farmers that had their robots. Since we've changed from conventional milk and powder to robots, the cows, they have settled, and I have to say we definitely get more milk in the tank. But now, since we're settled up and going, I have all the information, I have the protein, I have the fat, I have the somatic cell count, I have milk speed. I've, the information on the cow is unreal. And now, actually, when I'm going forward, I'm breeding to the best of my cows, which I have to find is absolutely super information. So I actually feel as I'm going forward, my herd will improve a lot more because of the information I've built up. Through the information on the robots, we culled out all the slow cows, the low yielding cows, and even at that, we were up 40,000 litres last year. So the shed wise, we hadn't a whole lot to do in the building. I did build cubicles, which I was going doing anyway. So I wouldn't count that as any extra work with the robots. So we had roadways running through the farm but we had small little tees to put in here and there. And we had to put one roadway beside another one to kind of call it a dual carriageway for cows passing. But other than that, we hadn't a whole lot of infrastructure on the farm. Actually, our milking facilities are in the center of a farm. But you could still, you know, you could work whatever farm you have. So we started in the 27th of June, uh, 2017. We put 150 cows on three robots. Uh, I won't tell anyone it was easy. It was actually hard work to be truthful about it. That was our start-up experience. But once we got over that initial start, I have to say it was plain sailing after that. Then every year you only have in January, February when your cows start calving, is your heifers to look after. The cows automatically will come back in and get going once they're trained from the year before. My daily routine is we get up in the morning, we come up, uh, we go into the collect cow list, just check see if there are any cows that are long hours or anything needs to be just checked on. We wash the robots, then I would go up to section B of the farm and I would move on the wire. The cows will be moving out there at 10 o'clock in the morning. You change two wires in the morning or one, or you have one definitely change in the morning, or you can change two in the evening. And you wash the robots morning and evening and clean the lasers, which is important to do. I have one full-time unit uh, for the springtime and the winter. I have a half a workman unit for the summer. But I find with the robots, we are able to do an awful lot of different work on the farm, which I wasn't able to do before. We do all our own machinery work on this farm, hedge cutting, fencing, slurry, fertilizer. We even do our own silage. So we're able to do all that with the robots. I find that we have time. But I wouldn't advise anyone put in robots and think, that you get into your car and go off down to the seaside and forget about things. It doesn't work that way. You still have to put in your time on the farm. But it's probably more of a different structure of time you're putting in. You're not tied to time with anything. That's what I would say about Lily robots. So in this field at the minute, it is a multi-species swart. There is two grass mixtures in it. There is two clover mixtures in it. There is red clover in it. There's plantain and chicory you don't actually put fertilizer out on this. The reason why we have this on the farm, we're trying it out, it cuts out fertilizer, which is good for the environment. So the future plan on this farm is we're going installing solar panels. They will work very well with robotics because we are generating electricity and we're using it at the same time during the day. The robots are using electricity 24 hours a day, so they're using it in the daytime. So we would hope to save between 30, 35% of our ESB bill by going solar. How my life has changed since I put in robots. Probably spend more time with my family, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. No, honestly, uh, it did change. I find now on a Sunday, we goes off on a Sunday. We don't have to come back and milk cows, which is a great bonus for us. 